During the period of emergency 1975, did former Prime Minister Indira Gandhi read JNU with Delhi police and beat up Sita Ram Yachuri? Did she force him to resign and then also force him to read an apology? Well, all these claims are being made on social media and they are widely being circulated after an old black and white picture of Indira Gandhi and Sita Ram Yachuri has surfaced. This has been widely circulated. We decided to do a fact check on this. A Facebook user uploaded a post 1975 emergency. Indra Gandhi enters JNU with Delhi police and beats CPI leader Sita Ram Yachuri, who was at that time president of JNU Students Union and forces him to resign and read an apology letter for protesting against the emergency. This is called iron hand dealing with the communist Amit Shah looks saint in front of her. Unquote. In the viral picture, Indira Gandhi is standing before a large crowd with folded arms while next to her, Yachuri is reading from a paper. India Today's anti-fake news war room has found out that this picture is not from the JNU. It is actually from outside the residence of the former Prime Minister Indira Gandhi and this was taken in 1977 when Sitaya Yachuri, who was in fact at that point of time elected as the Students' Union, Jawaharlal Nehru University Students' Union President. And in 1977, after the emergency was uh, in fact revoked, he led a big protest. He led students to the residence of uh, Indira Gandhi, the former Prime Minister, de and demanded her resignation as the Chancellor of the University. In the picture, he's reading out the demands of the students, asking Indira Gandhi to resign, and rather than forcing Yachuri, in fact, to resign or to be arrested, Indira Gandhi is actually patiently listening to the demands being made by the Students' Union President of the JNU. According to reports, Yachuri had led students of the JNU to the residence of Indira Gandhi after the emergency. Gandhi had lost the general election in 1977 but continued to remain the Chancellor of the University. It was against this the students were protesting. She had to come out of her residence to listen to the demands of the students and resign from the post the next day. The website of CPIM, which has a profile of the veteran leader, also confirms Yachuri became the president of the Students' Union of the Jawaharlal Nehru University only in 1977. During our fact check, we also reached out to Sitaram Yachuri and he confirmed to us that uh, this picture was from 1977. He was the JNSU president in 1977, not in 1975. The viral post is a blatant lie and falsification of what had happened back then. The picture was taken on September 5, 1977. This was after the emergency was withdrawn. She had continued to remain the Chancellor of the University. So we marched to her house and read out our demands. Yashuri said, adding, it is a lie that I was beaten up and she did not force me to resign or force me to read an apology, unquote. So India Today Anti-Fake News War Room concludes that this picture is not from 1975, but from 1977. Sita Yamiachuri was not forced to resign or read uh, or made be, or in fact made to read an apology. And Indira Gandhi did not enter the JNU either with police or use any force on the students.